this video I'll show you the difference between proof coins and uncirculated coins. This coin right here would be an example of an uncirculated coin and this would be a proof coin. The proof coin has like a mirror finish on it to where this one here is not nearly as shiny and that's the uncirculated. So what's the difference between a proof coin and an uncirculated coin? An uncirculated coin, this is the kind of coin that actually goes into currency. This is what people use at the store to spend and to buy. This one here is designed basically for coin collectors. In the early stages of making this coin, they'll press this with a lot more pressure. They'll work the planchet a lot more to get that mirror finish before they even press the coin. The piece of metal before the coin is called a planchet. They may press the planchet a couple times under very high pressure to where a production coin like this they don't have the time for that, so they just hammer them out as fast as they can. Just because a coin is proof doesn't mean it's in better condition than an uncirculated. Here are two dimes. This one right here is a proof. This one has been in circulation. The fact is both of these have actually been in circulation, even though this is a proof coin. This has been used in the stores. You can see the scratches. It's scuffed up. The condition is not in great shape. It's in pretty good shape, but not great shape. Typically proof coins, which this is, or uncirculated coins come in plastic to make sure that the hand never touches the metal. Plastic helps preserve the condition of the coin. Here are two Georgia quarters. This one here is a proof. This is a in circulation style. You can actually see the copper band here on the side. This one was made out of 90% silver, 10% copper. Which coin is more valuable, a proof or an uncirculated? The value depends upon the coin itself. Oftentimes the value is dependent upon how many of these they made. The safest way to look at the value of a coin is just the silver content and where the spot price is. This one is 90% silver, 10% copper. This one right here that was in circulation is also the same silver content. The safest way to look at it is the value of these two coins is exactly the same because they have the exact same silver content. The best would be to buy this coin for the same price that you can buy this coin because of the same silver content. If you can buy these two coins as close to the silver spot price or the melt price, the better. When a coin is worth more than the melt price or the spot price, that's called newsmatic value. Understanding newsmatic value is a lot more complicated than understanding how much does the coin weigh and what is silver worth. So those are the basic difference between a proof coin and an uncirculated coin.